Unbelievable, man. Un-freaking believable. The Phillies actually, in this crazy, incredible run, won the National League pennant. I, it's hard to even comprehend what's even happening right now. We have a generational talent, and this guy right here, Bryce Harper, putting together one of the best postseasons, not just in Phillies history, but you got you can argue based on his numbers, and what he's done in clutch situations, like the double in Game 4, or one of the most clutch home runs, I would say, without a doubt in MLB history, in Game 5, to send the team to the World Series. Everything is just working out with this team, and I am I am so happy right now. I am so overjoyed. This is like a once... This is like a once in a generation kind of story that this is like the kind of thing that uh my my parents were like experiencing in 1993 because for the 2007 through 11 team like that team was just good that team like 2007 was the year where they kind of like had a big late season comeback but they were like expected to be there 2008 9 10 11 they were just a great team nobody could have foreseen this happening not in the middle of the season when Joe Girardi had the team at a 22 and 29 record and not even in the middle of September where this team got swept by the Chicago Cubs and got blown out in game one of a doubleheader into Washington, D.C. against the worst team in the league in the Washington Nationals. So the fact that they not only made the playoffs, not only upset the St. Louis Cardinals, not only upset the Atlanta Braves, but in dramatic fashion managed to beat a red-hot Padres team who just beat the best team in the league record-wise to advance to their first World Series since 2009. This is incredible. This this story is just so incredible. And guess what? Like They could win against the Astros. They could lose against the Astros. I obviously want them to win. I want them to win the World Series. But this team will be forever etched into Philadelphia sports lore forever. Nobody looks back on like the, the 1993 Phillies and thinks, oh man, they didn't get it done. What a bunch of choking losers. What a bunch of... What a disappointment that year was. No, no, no one thinks about that. No one thinks about the 2010 Flyers like, oh man, they were on this big run, but they just came up short in the end because they choked and they're, they're a bunch of losers. They never should have been there in the first place. No, no one thinks about the 2010 Flyers like that. And win or lose, the 2022 Phillies are going to be looked at in the same way. Just this legendary team who was written off by so many, including a lot of members of the fan base, who proved everyone wrong and went on this improbable run. They're 9-2 and two in the playoffs right now. It's not like every series has been close, every series has been, oh, down to the wire, and they just managed to somehow eke away with it. No, they've been dominant this postseason. They've gone 9-2. and two. They're 5-0 and oh at Citizens Bank Park. Citizens Bank Park, historically, in a postseason setting, has been known to be one of the toughest places to come in as a visiting team and find success. That building... Especially for for every game, for every game, for all of the games they've had against Atlanta and San Diego for the playoffs, that building has been insane. But no crazier and no more insane than when Bryce Harper hit that game-winning home run in the eighth inning to send the team to the World Series. This guy was been called overrated, overpaid, pretty much the second he got here. This guy shut everyone up. He not only has the MVP, but he hit one of the most clutch home runs in the history of the sport. To send his team, his six-seeded team, a team that would not have made the playoffs in, in any other year previously, to send this team, this this team of guys that were written off, sends them to the World Series. And now they have a huge mountain to climb in the Astros. But I feel like game on. Game on. Doesn't matter what the records were in the regular season. All matters what's happening right now. The Astros are 7 0, the Phillies are 9 2. The way I see it, game on. This is going to be a good series. This is going to be a tight series. This is what I'm predicting. And I am 
so happy and grateful that I've got to experience this firsthand as an adult. This is giving me nostalgia for when I was a little kid in 2008, 2009, coming home, watching the games every day. The fact that I get to experience this now is just incredible. And I am so grateful for the ride this team has given. And let's hope that they can finish it off with a World Series. Let's go Phillies, man. Let's go Phillies. I, I'm, I'm so happy right now.